Recall, the root page only displays root segments. while the root legs pages show all waypoints on the root. Including all waypoints between the beginning and ending points of entered airway segments. Now select the root legs page. Just like old paper flight logs, each line on the root legs page corresponds to a similar line on the flight log. The information includes the waypoint identifier, the leg direction, the leg length, the waypoint speed, and the waypoint altitude. All waypoints making up the route are displayed on route legs pages in the order they will be flown. The waypoint sequence may be changed and new waypoints may be added or deleted. You'll see how to add, delete, and manipulate the waypoints to accommodate ATC clearances in a later lesson. The first waypoint on route legs page 1 is the active waypoint and is displayed in magenta. Boxes are displayed in place of a waypoint identifier when a route discontinuity occurs. Dashes are displayed on the line following the end of the route. The leg direction is displayed in the header line just above the waypoint identifier. These are the FMC computed courses to waypoints and this a procedure defined heading to a waypoint. All leg directions are magnetic unless followed by a T indicating true. Other possible leg direction indications are procedure turn, hold at, and the arc approach which are discussed in a later lesson. For the active leg, the FMC displays the distance from the airplane to the active waypoint. For other legs, the FMC displays the computed distance between waypoints. Predicted speed and altitude at which each waypoint will be crossed is displayed here. Speed and altitude restrictions can also be entered either manually or automatically as part of a procedure. Manually or automatically entered restrictions are displayed in large font and FMC predicted speeds and altitudes are displayed in small font. Airspeed restrictions followed by a slash are entered on the desired waypoint line. An airspeed restriction must have an altitude restriction associated with it. An airspeed restriction cannot be added to an FMC predicted altitude. A clearance has just been received to cross Laker at 240 knots. Make this modification. The scratch pad is incorrect. The modification is shown in shaded white until it is executed. The erase prompt allows the modification to be removed should you change your mind. Make the modification active. Waypoint altitude restrictions are entered in several formats. First, to cross a waypoint at a specific altitude, 
simply enter the altitude on the appropriate waypoint line. In this example, since Laker already has an altitude restriction, simply enter the new restriction over the old. The scratch pad is incorrect. Make the change active. Second, to cross a waypoint at or above or at or below an altitude, enter the altitude followed by an A for above or B for below. Comply with the clearance to cross Laker at or below 2,500 feet. For now, erase this modification and we'll try another one. During climb, to cross a waypoint between two altitudes, enter the lower altitude followed by an A, then the higher altitude followed by a B. Comply with the clearance to cross Laker intersection between 2,000 and 3,000 feet. Make this modification active. During descent, the same restriction to cross between 2,000 and 3,000 feet is entered with the altitudes reversed, the higher altitude first. To delete altitude and airspeed restrictions, simply push the Delete key and select the waypoint restriction to be deleted. Comply with the clearance by deleting the airspeed and altitude restrictions at Laker. Make this modification active. If a waypoint has an airspeed and altitude restriction, you cannot delete only one of the restrictions. Both are deleted. Make the necessary modifications to comply with the clearance. The airspeed restriction at Laker is no longer required. Remove the restriction. Since ATC only canceled the airspeed restriction, the 2500 at or above altitude restriction must be re-entered. Re-enter the 2500 feet at or above altitude restriction at Laker.